Only 360 vehicles under the expired government vehicle leasing program could be sold locally. The over 1,200 cars previously owned by the National Police Service have been returned to the dealers who leased them to government. The excitement around the planned auction of the 1,200 vehicles has been building on social media. The vehicles previously owned by the National Police Service, comprising of 250 lorries, double cabin pickup trucks and saloon cars, were leased from various dealers in the country. According to NIC Bank, leasing is a cheaper way for the government to own vehicles as opposed to full ownership. If the government was to go the direction of buying the vehicles, they'll have to allocate a huge amount of money or from the budget towards acquisition of the 1,300 vehicles that were recently uh, delivered. The question is, do they have that kind of money at this point in time? Looking at the various priorities they have as far as the budgetary allocation is concerned. Kenya adopted leasing in 2013 and has since increased its leasing budget over the years. In the current financial year, some 9.2 billion shillings have been set aside for the police service vehicle leases. This coming with zero maintenance costs for the state. That they don't have to get involved in, in servicing because the servicing is done. We arrange the servicing with the um, with the franchise zoo. In this case, for us was uh, Isuzu. So every every quarter, they would they would service these vehicles. In 2015, Treasury, through a budget policy statement, directed that a bigger share of the leasing contracts be awarded to Kenyan motor vehicle assembly firms. Faisal Ahmed. Citizen TV.